back to another reading with Soulful. How are you doing today? I hope this Sunday has been relaxing for you. I'm a little late on my readings today, but it's been a bit of a busy day for me, so I'm trying to uh, get these readings out for people. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this reading for you, okay? Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sign. If you have Leo somewhere in your chart, that is strong. This may resonate with you as well. If not, feel free to check out all my other videos. I have a wide variety now, okay? Maybe something in one of the other signs might work for you. Oh, I just made myself a smoothie, Leo. It's getting, it's getting hot. It's starting to heat up. I don't know if you can see, I, I've got myself some shade in here, but, uh, I had to have something cool, but you know, something good too. Some fruit. All right. So tell us about Leo. Tell us about Leo. What messages do you have for Leo today? Okay, Leo, you're currently in an energy that actually quite interesting energy right now. There is a new cycle. There is something you want to do, okay? And I really feel like this is something not only new, but something that has needed to happen, okay? It's also possible that when recently you decided to take a, a leap, okay, towards something brand new, a new cycle, a new love, a new person, okay, a new job, whatever it was, you decided to take a leap towards it, but you quickly realized that it was disappointing. I think that when you took this leap or when you took this chance, okay, it, it overburdened you, okay, it seemed like a good idea at the time, okay, as the fool, that is, the, I often feel like that is their mantra. It felt like a good idea at the time, okay? <laughs> so in all your glory, you leaped towards something, but you ended up with more burdens than you were ready to bear once you did decide to go with this. Whatever it is, we'll find out more, okay? And here, now currently, in the future, this is going to require you to look at yourself, okay? Look at the situation and to call upon your own healing energy, okay? Because I feel whatever this is that overburdened you, it it was something you thought that would work out, but it didn't go that way, that way. It didn't go as planned. So now we have the star energy in reverse. I feel like this was maybe even a wish you had. Um, the star card also speaks of wishes, okay? And that's the vibe I'm getting here. You, there was something you really wanted, so you did take a leap of faith, but the, your judgment may have been an error. Okay, this could also be someone who took a leap towards you. Um, and they realized that you were more than they could handle. <laughs> okay, you may be more than they can handle. So let's see. Let's get some clarity on the Fool card, please. My priestess in reverse. All right. It's possible that an air sign uh, or a water sign, this is possibly an air sign or a water sign that came towards you. Okay, this is now what I am hearing in this. This is definitely a love reading, okay? It's possible that one, uh, an air sign or a water sign came towards you. They took the sleep, okay? And they thought that they were going to discover something quite unique here as well in this relationship. But now, after this has happened, they're having a hard time. Or you are having a hard time. I think it's more the other person. They're having a hard time letting go. Okay, they're having a hard time of letting go of this specific experience okay and I think that maybe they can't heal from it and this was something that they really wanted 
At first I thought this was your energy, but I now feel this is the other person's energy. And because of that, there is a victim, okay, a victim mentality going on right now. When I see this high priestess in reverse, I feel like someone is in their emotions or maybe they're keeping secrets about their pain, okay, from you. The secrets about how they felt about this. Um, not only were they overburdened because they couldn't handle this relationship with you, but they also are now saying, oh, man, you know, I get this kind of feeling like, they wished it would have worked out, but it just didn't, okay? And I'm not really getting a feeling of betrayal from this card. I'm more so getting, like, someone feels as though, oh, woe is me. This didn't work out, okay? Someone is deeply in their emotions about this. They wanted a wish come true, but I have a feeling that you maybe, this card could also be speaking that maybe you slapped them, like, with a dose of reality and kind of just told them, that's not how this works, okay? That's not how reality works, so to speak. Um, uh, this could be someone a little bit naive. I'm not sure. Okay, with the high priestess in reverse, it could just be someone maybe that was obsessed with you a little bit. Okay, Leo? All right, let's get some clarity here on the... Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Lovers, okay. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe this. This is exactly what I said, Leo. All right. Okay, so you came to them and you said, hey, um, you know, it didn't really require much for you to discuss. This is you. Okay, the page of wands. You, you came as a page. You, you were trying to be easy on them. And you said, hey, look, you know, I do want love. I do want something new. Um, but your version of love, okay, I feel like this person was a bit unrealistic about what they wanted with you. I also kind of get a vibe that there was a choice that needed to be made or a choice that was avoided for some reason. Either by you, maybe you didn't make a choice about this person, but you kind of like, not only do they feel that there's a victim mentality, but I think that when you presented them with this, you say, well, you know, um, I would like to have a relationship, but I just feel like maybe this is not stable enough for me. So, Leo, I'm feeling like you turned someone down recently. You have turned someone down. I think you like them. I think you would maybe even enjoy their company or you feel like you guys are compatible in some way. Okay? But... <laughs> I feel this person is a little bit unrealistic about your guys' this relationship. That's just what I'm getting, okay, with the star in reverse. They wanted something other than what you were willing to give, or there was just something more that just didn't happen, okay? And now they're like, oh, boo-hoo, okay, I don't want to be mean to, to crosswashers, but, like, Really, that's, that's how I'm feeling is someone is really just kind of sad about this. Or maybe they're keeping their emotions secret from you and not saying that they're feeling like that. But they just feel like just really disappointed. And even though you still, I think, actually like them, you just had to slap them with a bit of reality. Sometimes we got to do that. Sometimes people don't get it. Okay? So then I was there. I've done that. I, was, I used to be in La La Land about love. Till I had an awakening and then I realized that shit was a lie. <laughs> okay, so we have here, no, no offense to people who still, <laughs> no offense to people who are still learning about love. <laughs> King of Wands in reverse. Terrence, yeah, okay. So <laughs> Leo, you hit him with the stick, okay? What do they used to say in old internet speak? Uh, with a large trout, okay? Um, and I feel that this person needed to hear this. I feel that not only did they think that that their wishes weren't fulfilled with you, okay, that they had this when you wish upon a star, okay. I get the star a lot with Leo readings, I've just noticed. That happens quite a lot. So this could be the same kind of uh, little Leo collective I'm picking up on, this energy here, okay. This could be someone that uh, came towards you with sort of, um, that was in the other readings, uh, you might have to go go check out the other Leo readings. This might still be for for the set of Leos, okay? So I feel like they also they also felt like you just were maybe you manipulated the situation, okay? 
um, that you were impatient with them. Uh, or maybe, maybe you were impatient with them or you felt like they were manipulating you, okay? This vibe, this energy seems to be going both ways. So it's going to go one way for Leo and, and another way for other Leos, okay? So I feel that there was definitely some issues with emotional communication, needs, wants, uh, desires. Oh, and that's why this star in reverse is here. And I do feel that this automatically caused, you know, them to feel as though they, they lost, they lost, they're not going to get their happiness. There's, um, a disconnect now. Okay. Between you I feel, Leo, like you want to work with this person, you want to be their friend, you want to care for them, but I feel like they just, well, you know, this person is the fool in reverse. Mm -hmm. That's definitely their energy. And I feel like because of that, they, they're learning, okay, they're just at the start of their journey. They're just at the start. And you know quite a fair amount. Getting them, this person may be younger than you too. It's possible. I don't know why I'm hearing um, cats. Someone here might like cats like a lot. And I'm not just because you're Leo, but like someone here might like insanely love cats. Okay. I'm also, I'm hearing like drum and bass, drum and bass music. All right, so tell us the current energies surrounding Leo. Okay, so Leo, you've pulled back your energy. You've pulled back your emotional investment in this person because I do feel, like I said, with the lovers this year, you do actually care about this person, okay? But I feel you had to, excuse me, pull back your energy, pull back your emotional energy, and then make yourself, you know, you just decided to go within and examine all the, the effort you've put into this, okay? Because I feel like on, on some level, you're kind of wondering if this person is worth all the work. Mm -hmm. So that's the current energy surrounding you right now, Leo. What energies are surrounding that person? Okay, they want a new beginning. They want to speak the truth. Okay, they want to, they want to, yeah. Okay, they want to talk to you, but I think there's some fear of you ignoring them. Or maybe they know that if they come forward to you and they tell you they want to start again. Okay, they want to try again. They see you as someone probably quite fascinating. Okay, and they want to tell you the truth. This person is kind of gung-ho, I think. Um, but I do feel that they are too much in their emotions. And maybe they are building you up, Leo. I feel like maybe they're building you up, putting you a bit on a pedestal here. Just just for a little bit. <laughs> okay. And they know on some level that if they try to approach you again, especially right now in this, this energy that you're in, where you're kind of examining and pulling back that, you know, okay. They know that you might, or you might just ignore them or you might just kind of go like, mm, not now. You know, and, and it may be a good offer. It may be a really good offer from this person, but I think that that's the state you're in right now. This is the energy, okay? Let's just pull three extra cards. How does this person feel about Leo right now? I'm being nosy. Sorry, Leo. Don't hate me. <laughs> just kidding. All right. Two pentacles. Whew. All right, Leo. So they want to prioritize you. I feel like they do. Um, but I do feel like this person may have, again, a bunch of ideas in mind. Okay. They want to try and balance the situation. I do feel like, and again, they want to offer you something with this Knight of Cups. Okay. And this together, this, this is them. Okay. That they, and they, <laughs> They may have a little bit of uh, confidence in themselves. They may think that they might have a victory this time. But again, there's a bit of a conflicting energy here, okay? A conflicting energy between them thinking you're going to ignore them and them thinking that they're confident 
they're oh, maybe a little overconfident. Maybe there is something they know about you with this high priestess in reverse. I just got this message by looking over here at this. Um, maybe they know something about you that they think they can use to win your heart, Leo. There's something about you. Yep. But I do feel there is some victim mentality or some lessons this person needs to learn about putting people uh, above themselves. This person may be giving. I, I get this pushy kind of energy. Like they're giving just too much and you don't know how to take it because you want something more balanced, okay? And they're like wishing on a star for you. And you're over here like, hey, I'm just a person like you, okay? Let's get on the level here. And I feel that that's your energy. Okay, Leo? All right, so let's pull some quick messages from Source. <laughs> I always love the Leo readings. I get such amazing readings for Leo. Okay, we've got two that fell out here. A time for healing. All right. Okay. So there may be something that needs to be healed between you and this other person or just you. I see here with this uh, uh, I have four swords over here. Maybe you need to continue going in and considering what it is you want either from this person or relationships. All right. And then we have your dreams need a practical plan. I'm sorry. But this, <laughs> this, I don't think this is advice to you. I think cross watchers quite possibly. Okay. That if you're going for this specific Leo and you really enjoy their company, okay, try to pull back a little bit, okay, and um, be a little bit more realistic and grounded in how you approach your Leo, okay? Um, practicality. Try to, uh, you know, stop, stop, stop being pushy, okay, like a and, and don't be stubborn at the same time, all right? Just be a little bit more practical. I feel like this message is for any cross watchers. And then one more message from Source here. Show the world the real you. Yeah, you just want to be real. <laughs> I can't put this any other way, Leo. You want to be real and you want this person to be real with you okay all right so that was leo's reading for uh today i hope that someone gets this message and uh whenever they find it and that it helps them all right bye leo